how do you keep up? How does the lab keep up and all these labs around the world now? There's the, the doubling of scientific papers is just so fast now. There's not enough eyeballs to scan them and understand them. Yeah. How do you keep up? Uh, well, in a way, our task is worse, speak, or harder, because we're trying to be interdisciplinary. We're, we, we don't know where the next um, idiosyncratic oddity from physics or, or, uh, or ethics or, could, or chemistry could impact our lab. Um, so we have to constantly ha we have, a, have a lot of antennae out there. So part of the reason for having a largish um, interdisciplinary group is that each individual is an antenna for their mm. specialties, mm. plural, for each person. Um, and they may not be the best in the world at any particular task, some of them are. They're good enough that they can talk to the, the uh, world's experts. Uh, so that's one way. We don't need everything, because we're, we're mainly doing this for engineering. So we, we need things that are um, capable of turning into something that, that the rest of the world could benefit from. So uh, that, that, that's a luxury. And just in, in general, when you have a lot of things working, you know, a lot of balls in the air that nobody else has, you're not, we're not catching up with other groups. We're kind of staying ahead. And in a way, that's kind of easier yeah. in a certain way. It, it means we'll probably make a few more mistakes than the average group, but, uh, but we'll have a lot more warning um, when new things are coming down the pipe because a lot of those new things came from our lab.